Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to find out how tough the naked iPhone screen on an iPhone 6, and I'm assuming it's going to be the same for the iPhone 6 Plus, is against a 45 gram uh, steel ball. Now you guys have been asking for me to do a lot of screen protector tests and so I have bought about 10 of them but it's taken me a while to actually figure out how to review them only because, well, a lot of them say it's this certain hardness, it's this certain shatterproofness. There's really kind of no way for me to tell just by opening and installing on my iPhone. So I figure I'll build a contraption, which is this thing. Um, I'm not very good with power tools, apparently. They don't teach you that in school. Well, my school anyways, Chinese school. Do your math and science. So we're going to see how awful this is going to be. And I am going to brick the screen on this iPhone 6. There's no doubt about that. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? So I'm just going to quickly go through what this setup actually is. It's a bunch of old shelves that uh, we used in our bedrooms and all I've done is taken a six foot length of PVC and I've drilled holes approximately every inch and from the uh, bottom to the first hole that's about two inches and so this entire setup isn't permanent. Um, we'll see how high it actually goes for the drops and then we'll uh, modify it accordingly. If I was to actually sneeze, this entire thing might fall off because, well, again, they don't teach you how to use power tools in Chinese school. So we've got our uh, iPhone here. This thing, this iPhone's actually no more than a, a week old. I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna be smashing it up. One inch. And we've just had a critical failure. All right, test number one. Two inches. Boring. That was six. This is 11 inches. Nothing. 17 inches. Nothing. 19. Ugh. Pants are falling down. Well, this is 20 inches. This is, I'm getting kind of bored. Break! Come on. 26. This is 27 inches. Still nothing. Was the back of the iPhone? Yeah, back of the iPhone still looks pretty good. Thirty inches. Oh fuck. Thirty-five inches. Boring. Thirty-seven. This is thirty-eight inches. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-one inches. Now one of the things I'm actually thinking about is that no matter how high I drop this ball, it's not going to break. I think. From a certain height, there's a terminal velocity and it won't go any faster, it won't hit you any harder. So that's what I'm thinking right now. So this is the 45 gram ball. This is a much larger ball of unknown weight. So we're gonna try it with this one. This is mildly frustrating. I ran out of space on my iPhone 6 Plus. I don't know what to delete because I don't want to delete all that really boring slow-mo footage I just took. All right, we've got Big Bertha and then we're gonna try this all over again. <laughs> Two inches, five, nine, twelve inches, just break, sixteen, this is a foot and a half, I really don't think anything's going to happen, twenty-one inches, 22 inches with this ball and it finally breaks. Wow, that's like 40 minutes of footage. I don't think you guys realize how long I've been bent over dropping this stupid ball. Okay, let's take a closer look. You guys know how I was complaining about not having enough space on my iPhone. This iPhone 6 Plus didn't actually record the break. I don't have any slow-mo footage of the break. This is so incredibly painful. To do, I don't have anything to show. Oh, so pissed off right now. So incredibly pissed off. Oh. So guys, this is the iPhone after we uh, finished our marble drop test. This is this is a gold one. I actually had to go swap out one of my iPhones um, and I get another one. Uh, so it's this is literally only like four days old. So little disappointed, sad to see this one go. Uh, but I'll go get it. Apple cared. Um, so again. We first started off with this little marble. This is 45 grams, not too big. The, uh, this one is quite a bit bigger and 
just from my preliminary uh, weighing, I'm trying to find a better weigh scale for it. This is about a pound. This big marble, I think, is 10 times as heavy as this little marble, which is pretty crazy considering we draw. This one ended up at, what, 37, 40 inches being dropped and nothing happened to the iPhone. Um, the iPhone still works. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. And <laughs> again, <laughs> I'll do a close up of it real quick for you guys. So there is the close up of the iPhone. You can definitely tell uh, where it's impacted. I've already put a couple layers of packing tape on it so I don't slice my fingers open. The cracking has gone through the entire uh, length of the screen. The Touch ID sensor, Sapphire thing is still kind of funny, which is normal. The back of the case, if you guys can see it, there is a small dent. So the weight of the ball or the impact actually went through, hit the screen, went through the back, and it's kind of in this area right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's actually pretty crazy. 23 inches. As you can tell, the iPhone itself is, it still works. It's really surprising how tough these uh, devices actually are. I'm pretty impressed. So that is going to be my baseline for all the screen protector tests that I'm going to be doing. 23 inches with this monstrosity of a metal ball. Um, a lot of these cases say that it's, you know, three times shatterproof. I'm still not going to, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to figure out how to test that, but I'll start at 23 inches and see if it actually is three times as shatter resistant as they say, like the Invisa Shield by Zag. So questions, comments, um, do leave them in the comment section below. There are quite a few uh, outtakes at the end because this was so incredibly frustrating to film, but I had to do it. I spent a long time trying to figure out how to make that stupid drop setup thing. Again, I'm Aaron the Home. Please find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Thank you for watching. So we've hit 41 inches with this 45 gram ball. This is actually a ball that was given to us by Tech 21, no, by Rhino Shield to do their test. And so I'm, I don't know, I've, I've got a bigger one. I don't know how much it weighs. I can go weigh it later, but I'm gonna quickly go get that uh, steel ball. I'm gonna leave all my camera stuff. I got literally three iPhones and a thousand dollar camera just sitting here. I'm just gonna run quickly into the house and come back and hopefully nothing goes away. Whew, everything's still here. How many of my batteries are gonna die? Mic batteries are pretty close. Camera batteries basically done. This is mildly frustrating. Ran out of space on my iPhone 6 Plus. I don't know what to delete because I don't want to delete all that really boring slow-mo footage I just took. God. Sometimes I hate video stuff because sometimes it's so painful to do. So very, very painful to do sometimes.